So I finally got the real one in. If you saw my channel last week, I did a review for the fake decant that I got of Pulf Parfums de Marley Altair. And well, I finally got the real one. So today we're gonna be doing our actual first impressions for the brand new release by Parfums de Marley. It is Altair. So without further ado, let's get it. All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Randy, aka Fragrance Dude. Thank you guys so much for joining me for another first impression of a brand new release in 2023. Before we get into the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. I always appreciate it. And then if you could follow me on Instagram and TikTok under Fragrance Dude if you have those accounts. So I got this decan in, uh, not this one specifically, but I got one last week from my custom scent. Um, at that point in time, it was like three weeks ago, there was no full bottles of Altair available anywhere. And there was decants on a site that I've never heard of that one of my subscribers sent me. And it was called My Custom Scent. I figured why not 15 bucks, I was gonna do it. So I did it, I ordered it. And while it was on its way, uh, a few of my subscribers also ordered it and they got it in and said, hey, I think that's fake. Just an FYI, because uh, some of them got the wrong sizes. They said it doesn't smell like any of the notes. So before it even arrived, I contacted my custom scent and said, look, if this is fake, I'm going to have a real decant sent to me by another uh, decant house that I know is real. And if they smell any bit different, I'm going on Better Business Bureau's website. I'm going to tell my subscribers, any fellow reviewers. So refund me now or blah, blah, blah. They refunded me, so obviously it was almost sure that it was a fake, but I wanted it to be a learning lesson, so together we found out that yes, it was a fake. So I went on a trusted decant site once it was available. Uh, I'm not gonna buy a full bottle of a Parfums de Marley because I, I know they have sales like three times a year. Um, so I'm not gonna buy a full bottle. I wanted to try out a decant. Always try before you buy, in my opinion. Don't blind buy things that are over $200, but today, we're gonna be doing our first impression of the real, and this is Parfums de Marley Altair. I thought it was Altair for a while, but then I found out that it's not. So I wanted to just, even though Decant House, I've used it before, I know it's real. I wanted to spray this on just because to make my mind know that it's real. I sprayed it on 35 minutes ago, so I will have the dry down. I won't have to put you guys on hold, but today it's Parfums de Marley Altair. Altair. <laughs> I'm going to spray the opening on my right hand just so we can get a refresher course of that. And I did get a few bottles of other fragrances out here to let you guys know what I think it smells like. So whenever this first gets sprayed on, it automatically, you can tell it is a fall and winter scent. And it is completely different than the other one they sent me. The other one they sent me, I swear to God, was just a watered down like Tonka Cola or something like that. But this, as soon as you spray it on, you get that bourbon vanilla punching you right in the face. I mean, it is really nice. It's a high quality bourbon vanilla. Um, if you haven't tried bourbon vanilla, it's just, it's not like a boozy vanilla like you would think from bourbon vanilla. It just has almost like a darker, richer tone of vanilla in my opinion. But it really does punch you right in the face. I absolutely love it. And it is the main player in the opening part of the fragrance. Um, when you think of bourbon vanilla, a lot of people think of this, including myself, most wanted parfum. And while, when I did first spray it on for the first five minutes, I did think that it did smell a lot like the bourbon vanilla from this. It still has vibes of that, but that has went out the window um, now that I've smelled it but it does have a very heavy vanilla scent. And then after about five minutes, you get a little bit of this orange blossom that really comes forward and more forward and more forward as the fragrance starts to settle on your skin. But don't get me wrong, this is a bourbon vanilla or just a vanilla heavy fragrance. So if you don't like vanilla, then you're not gonna like this, but most people do like vanilla. And this is gonna be more of like your creamy vanilla not going to be powdery uh, at least in my opinion it's not powdery at all it's more of like a almost a smooth and creamy vanilla but then mix that together with it and i was expecting to get more cinnamon in this but i really don't get much cinnamon at all from this um at least at the point 
Well, there is a little bit on my left hand. So maybe it comes in further in the fragrance. Uh, and I actually just got a new note on there. Uh, it's a bit like nutty. Like, I don't know. Oh, that's interesting. So the opening, you definitely get a lot more vanilla. You get some of that orange blossom, which comes across like a sweet floral. Uh, it just adds a little bit of this sweetness to the fragrance. If you smelled orange blossom before, you know what I'm saying. Um, and then it has a musky undertone. There's definitely a musky undertone for this. But again, this is a fall and winter centric fragrance, and I love this. I think this is a fantastic release. There's one issue, though. So some people I've heard, at least from my subscribe, I'm not trying to watch videos. I'm not trying to hear what other people say about this. I was very excited for this fragrance, but some of my subscribers said people were saying it smelled like Leighton. Some people were saying it smelled like, I can't remember. It was another Parfums de Marley. Maybe it was Wajon or uh, Herod. I don't get any of those. I don't get Leighton from this. I don't get Herod from this, at least from the 35 minute mark or 40 minute mark, wherever we're at now and the opening. For me, it smells more like this. Mercedes-Benz Club Black. Uh, again, it's not exact. For the opening five minutes, I do I, I smell this. There's like that orange blossom, bourbon, vanilla, slight spiciness that you get from this. But again, it's not exact. And then there's like this bubblicious smell to it. Like just a normal bubble gum. It actually has this bubble gum vibe on top of the vanilla that you don't smell in very many fragrances, but there's, especially for the first 15 minutes, the way that orange blossom mixes together with the bourbon vanilla and the musk, it almost comes off like a little bit of like this bubblicious smell, uh, but it's really, really nice. I really enjoy this fragrance. If you are a vanilla fragrance fan, you're gonna like this. It doesn't smell exactly like Club Black. It doesn't smell exactly like Most Wanted Parfum. Um, if anything, I would say as far as after the first like 10 to 15 minutes, once it starts to dry, that's when it starts getting more into the category of the Club Black. The heavier vanillas with that musky undertone, a slight spice and floral undertone. Uh, this one has like this jasmine incense mixture, while the new Altair has like a slight, it almost does have like a slight smokiness to it mixed together with this orange blossom. But... Yeah, the opening is very nice. That's where you get that vanilla mixed with that bubblicious smell. Um, I'm really interested. I am going to go watch a few reviewers after this, um, if there are any that I watch, that I want to see if any of them get that kind of bubblicious smell. But again, there's not really much of a spice in the opening of the fragrance, at least for the opening 15 to 20 minutes. Um, it's an undertone but you're of spice, but as you get into the dry down, there is a little bit more of this spiciness and some praline. That's what you can notice after about 30 to 35 minutes. I can notice it on my hand and I was trying to think, I said a little bit of like a nuttiness, but it's praline. There is praline in this fragrance that is coming in more and more as it's drying. So it's turning into more of a bourbon vanilla musk with praline and an undertone of orange blossom. The orange blossom, is a lot heavier from minute five to about 30, but it's starting to dissipate on my dry down right now. This is a beautiful fragrance. The one thing that I do have to say is in comparison to other fragrances in this line, which Parfums de Marley is known for being a designer-esque niche house, which they do a lot of mass appealing scents, which very good on them. They do have some unique oddballs in there like Cologne and uh, Haltane and stuff like that. Godolphin, but <clears throat> like the ones we have right there, Harad, Leighton, uh, Percival, Sedley, they're all mass appealing designer-esque style fragrances that are higher quality. This one is more designer-esque. This is m even more designer-esque. That's why I'm comparing it to Club Black. Um, I was comparing it to this, but it doesn't really smell like that anymore. So get the most wanted parfum out of your mind. It is more closer to Club Black. It's a heavy vanilla fragrance that has a little bit of spice and floral underneath, some white musk, and then you get this nice, beautiful praline. But when I'm saying that, I would say, let's just say off this opening, I'm gonna give it an 8.5 out of 10. Very beautiful scent. Would I spend more than $200 on this fragrance right now? No, I would not personally. Um, with Parfums de Marley's, I like to own the bigger 4.2 ounce bottles. That one, 
was my first ever niche fragrance, so I bought a smaller one. But I want to own the 4.2 ounce right now, and they're 300 bucks, 325, something like that. I think they run 250 for the small and 325. Parfums, the Marleys, all of them go on sale two to three times a year on Joma Shop's website or a fragrance. So for me, I am going to be good with this until it comes down to that Joma Shop sale, which should probably be in the next few months. Parfums de Marley Altair is going to be a great pickup at that $160 to $180 price range. I just think that the way that it's blended here, it smells more designer-esque, and I don't think that I would want to spend that price range on something that I know is going to drop. Is it worth that price? If it never dropped, I would, I would buy it, yes. I think that it's still really nice. But because in my head, I know that it's dropping, I think that Altair is gonna be great at that price point that it will be on Joma Shop between 160 and 180 for the 4.2 ounce and probably 150 or so for the 2.5. Um, yes, so the opening, great. Uh, again, it's more bourbon vanilla and orange blossom in the opening and in the dry down, it has this vanilla musky kind of praline style smell, but you do get some of that cinnamon coming in that cinnamon. There's almost like a little bit of pepper as well. The cinnamon and pepper are starting to pull up now. So I'm really interested to see where this fragrance goes outside of the performance. Cause I can't do the performance in a first impression. I'm going to say that this fragrance is, again, an 8.5 to a 9. I really love the smell of it. It is a definite unisex scent. So if you're not somebody who likes to smell a little bit feminine, because uh, the sweetness in this can definitely come off for a man or a woman. It's not going to lean one way or the other. I'm going to say this is straight down the middle unisex. Maybe in the dry down, it's leaning slightly masculine. But overall... Fantastic fragrance. Absolutely great. A great job by Parfums de Marley, but I already know that a lot of the niche people that do not like Parfums de Marley because it's not that unique, out of the box, uh, niche quality style things, they're probably not going to be too enthused by this. Um, but I am. I, it's my style of fragrance. It's just you have to like vanilla. It is a very simplified fragrance. Uh, I, again, I'm not sure where it goes, but you could write this down as a like four note fragrance at this point in time. Again, you have a little bit of spice rolled by bourbon vanilla, and then you have a little bit of orange blossom that comes up a little bit more and then goes back down. That's pretty much the fragrance with a musky undertone. Um, so yeah, if you guys like Club Black, you're gonna like this. Uh, but that's why if I'm comparing it to Club Black, again, it's not exact. Um, I'm not going to pay over $200 for it. That's just my prerogative. I think it's worth more than that if you couldn't find it less. But again, that's neither here nor there. I'm just repeating myself. So we'll be back in about seven to 10 days once I get a few wears on it. I am going to wear it all day today. Let you guys know what I get. I'll probably update you guys on my live stream as well. So be uh, aware of that. And then again, we'll be back with another video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll be back. Peace out.